ladies and gentlemen, the only bridge has returned. It's been a long time since we've been back to the streets of New Mombasa, and I always like to revisit this diorama. I know I should make a new one, and I am just rehashing this, but it has just a beautiful evolution. This one started with the original Oni invasion with the Covenant, then it went on to be invaded by the Flood during the events of Halo 3. So many years later, this bridge is still standing by some miracle, but now the Banished are here to really take control of Oni. Uh, even though Oni's site was blown up at the end of ODST, but uh, regardless, that's, that's, a, that's a tiny detail, we don't need to worry about that one. Let's light a fire, let's get the banished in here. Jackal Sniper. A couple of AC Brute Chieftains. A few NMPD Troopers as well. Banished though, now that's where we're gonna get crazy. I always like to start with one faction, build up that infantry, and then see how the banished then invade and react to it. So we're gonna have three stages basically. We're gonna build up the UNSC troops, then we're gonna add the banished pretty much overwhelming and destroying them, and then we're gonna have the Spartan reinforcements come in at the end. Just the most beautiful selection of painted UNSC weapons. First of all, we've got a selection of six NMPD here. I like to keep them in units so we've got these two with brown pants i also like to give a little bit of accessories whenever i can blue jumpsuits this one's going to be an injured officer unfortunately a lot of uh, dead npd are going to be on this diorama okay we've got these two i'm going to give that one a magnum he's making his last stand and this one a battle rifle position them by the gate essentially what's going to be happening is the banished are completely overwhelming the facility they're just on the final retreat now so this guy's pretty gravely injured but he's going to be holding out as best he can and then these two with riot shields and magnums i imagine they're all down to their magnums because they've already expended most of their ammo and they're just trying to defend their friend while he's uh, evacuated away. But you're about to see the situation is incredibly dire for all of them right now. In front of these four are the squad leaders. In brown we've got a charged custom Spartan laser there and this special Halo 5 shotgun right in front on the uh, on the front line doing their best but he's ordering a retreat and the other one is trying to Spartan laser. Maybe a banshee. We're gonna put some temporary NMPD around here. Two last uh, NMPD barricades by people who are like on their very last legs trying to shield the advance with their last breath basically the banished are going to be completely overwhelming and one shield down on the floor where the previous advance failed okay so I've got this banished banshee one of the best banshees in my opinion little contraption here luckily this guy's got the Spartan laser that's what he'll be aiming at there's gonna be two forms of assault the NMPD against the banished on the bridge and then the UNSC against the banished inside the facility we're gonna give this one an assault rifle and he's gonna be crawling away. Then we just need to assign weapons accordingly to the dead bodies. Halo Infinite Marines. So the UNSC's best and brightest are gonna do whatever they can to defend this bridge. I've already dotted a couple of dead Marines across the battlefield. So there has to be a total sense of urgency on this diorama. Like they are on their last stand against the Banished. The Banished have completely overran this facility and the UNSC and the NMPD are just doing whatever they can to hold them off. A firing line of battle rifles here. This special ODST making a final stand against some banished. These two here, the NMPD troopers and this marine. This guy around the side, he's sort of soloing it. Another great pair with their signature DMRs. And then this marine has a special tactical device. He needs defending while he checks the status of the Spartans behind this barricade. There needs to be like a really tangible story, you know. That's that's really what set my dioramas apart, honestly. They all feel so unique and different. Then we come to the classic sniper tower. I'm going to put this marine on the roof. Unfortunately, he's been pulled off by drones. He's going to be in a very bad state. Two marine snipers up here and one wounded as well. Things are not looking good for the UNSC. They've already been battered and these are just reinforcements from whatever zones are available right now. The banished are pummeling New Mombasa as well as practically the entire world. And all that's left to do now is bring in the banished. Oh man, this is gonna hurt the UNSC bad. We're gonna start the show with Remnant Hunters. A pair of them, they always hunt in pairs. But they're gonna be at separate points in the battlefield, slinging an NMPD trooper through the air. And the other facing down these Marines, he's gonna throw his arms up in the air. He doesn't even care. He's being bold and audacious. He doesn't think these Marines stand a chance against him. Okay, some would say I went overboard here, but I disagree. You need some organization in your squad. So I've separated into different squads of Brutes and Elites. Each of the squad leaders has a shock rifle. Really nice Brute Chieftains here. One of them is a Matty Crafts Custom. He's gonna be leading a charge. Little Captain logo. We've got all these Elites here. I tried to keep it mostly Banished Red, and then we have a Matty Crafts Custom 
system with a 3D printed skewer. He's going to be leading the pack. Look at that. And then the leader of this banished assault on New Mombasa, Condovius. He's got a 3D printed diminisher of hope, a load of different pop and swaps of different figures. I love this leader. Looking over the battlefield. Protecting the leader will be a brute chieftain AC with dual wheeled spikers. Coming straight for this guy that's crawling along the floor is going to be a brute chopper that's going to just be booking straight towards him. Standing proud on top of this fallen marine is this brute chieftain. He's raising his hand up indicating that all of his troops should advance forward. Behind him, his second in command also donning silver. Behind them two, a squad of brutes. The banished are sort of slowly approaching boldly. Like, they know from radios ahead that they already have a pretty good lockdown on this place. They're about to overwhelm the UNSC completely. What they don't realize is that Spartan reinforcements are on the way. The other AC brute chiefs are about to give this guy a very sad surprise. Attacking these marines at the front are gonna be this trio of jackals. Now, I've given the red jackals red shields and this jackal sniper has a carbine ready to take out some advanced forces. So we are going to have these jackals jumping over these shields. The right shields are like the final defense against these jackals with the jackal sniper in the middle. We're going to have a squad of elites on one side moving up and a squad of brutes on the other and the elites will have a couple of grunt reinforcements. They're almost just hunting this UNSC like prey like they clearly just being very brazen just moving all the way forward. They're not concerned about the UNSC taking them out right now. The grunts just like playing on the side of the railing. They got little peewee brains. This victor has been told by his brute boss to give him one of the weapons, so he's just reaching for that on his back. I give this marine an even more sorry end. Considering the jackals are ahead, the skirmish is going to be just behind, tearing into this NMPD trooper with a couple more grunts coming up the bridge as well. All the motion is dynamic, so now that elite's there, that grunt's actually going to be looking to that elite for direction. Little pop and swap from shipmaster Letvolier over there. Two grunts, three elites, and the elites all have very special plasma pistols. These three in the middle, they're just completely surrounded. These three elites have completely cornered these NMPD troopers. Jump pack brute, I've got a nice mechanism running all the way through it. You can get it at a really funky angle with that. ODST last stand. He's facing off against two very formidable opponents. And wherever there are banished, there are grunts. This marine that's about to have his shin kicked in by the chieftain is firing against one grunt. He just doesn't realize that chieftain's behind him. This little grunt duo. And the final major piece of infantry is is this exosuit. It's gonna be right on top of the bridge. Booster packed past all of the remaining defenses. Just to make matters even more gruesome, torn in half, slung about by this chieftain. Jackal sniper on the roof. Bit of gorilla glue to really strengthen that banshee. A couple of dead banished, of course. The UNSC don't miss all their shots. It's never easy putting a dead victor on the battlefield. Oh, no. I gave our leader a human head. Standing calm, standing proud, standing confident. Did anyone say drones? Create some interesting contraptions. For example, this that holds up two drones at once in different angles. So I'm going to have that right at the front. And the rest of our drones are just going to go wherever we feel like. Feasting on a human. Saying hello to the UNSC survivors inside. So the great thing about this diorama is you could say, well, Simon, it's complete. You've got the banished. They're completely sieging the uh, new Mombasa bridge. What? This is not where the story ends, no, no, no. When all hope seemed lost, the distress signal was answered. Bring on the Spartans. Well, well, folks, Spartan reinforcements have arrived. This might honestly be one of my favorite dioramas ever for a multitude of reasons. I've genuinely found it so interesting to set one diorama up and then completely turn the tide of the battle. That Marine that was being defended over there, he sent out a signal, the Spartans answered, and they came crashing through. They drove this Reach truck straight into that NMPD car and flattened an elite and a grunt in the process, killing a few more. Led by by a set group of Spartans. I've given them all names now. Especially this one who has a misprinted chest. Straight to this hunter who's setting off a plasma charge that's about to go straight into this brute. So the banished, they've just had the entire battle flipped on their heads. 
They did manage to take out a lot of marines, you know, there were three marine survivors here, only one remains, one's trying to crawl away. In my opinion, it's been about 30 seconds to a minute since this happened, since the last time we saw this diorama. That ODST has fought his way up through the staircase and is knifing an elite. These marines have started to retreat up the ladder and a drone is taking one of the uh, captains before he can escape. Just sort of looking down at the battle, they can't believe their eyes, they thought all hope was lost. We've got the new wombat drone coming in and is about to fire some missiles straight into this drone and these drones have a different priority now they've left this human alone they gotta try and defend the banished because this yeah, the battle's turned so quickly. These two marines over there, they're still alive, but now those two red elites that were on the bridge before have reached them. This breacher exosuit, his chest has been smashed off with some fire, and the Spartan leader, the Spartan pilot, is coming in to deal a fatal blow. Now, this is just so awesome. It's a basic pop and swap, carrying the UNSC flag as more of like a symbolic gesture to push the forces back, and he's got a jetpack which I've attached one of the hunter-like needles to it. He's He's being boosted forward so fast with that shield, he's smashing into the brute, about to send him flying onto this battlefield, which has also taken a big turn. Two of these NMPD troopers have survived, but the rest have perished. One elite zealot, who's about to face off against this surviving trailblazer. And there's three more Spartans along this bridge. They prioritized the bridge because there was just so many infantry down here. We've got one attacking this poor Victor the Grunt. Ton of dead banished, like they've been decimated. Like yes, the UNSC have definitely taken a lot of casualties, but nothing close to what the banished is now experiencing. One brute captain here on the floor and his brother is furious. He's thrown up his arms in rage and looking on at this hijacked chopper going straight for the Let Volia. There's one grunt there trying to get back in the fight. We've got a retreating Victor the Grunt. But this elite is about to try and skewer the chopper and put an end to the Anubis. Sniper taking out that brute and commando rifle taking out this other brute. I wanted it to feel like they'd rushed the banish so fast and they're going in for the final blow on the leader. Because all you can really do, you want to break those ranks, go straight for the leader. This diorama is a victory in Spartan strength in showing that you can overcome any battle as long as you have the Spartans on your side. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Yet another classic adventure on the bridge. This bridge has seen more action than any other Halo <laughs> location in the games. It's been absolutely wild and I can't wait to see where I take it next. Thank you so much for tuning in today and I'll see you next time folks. Long live the Oni Bridge Diorama.